Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to incorporate custom HTML code into your Google Sites website? In this video, I will guide you through the process of adding HTML to Google Sites. You will learn how to access the HTML editing feature, insert HTML code, snippets, and customize it. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Guys, now right after you have chosen your own template, let's say that you have chosen this template for example, which is restaurant name, so this is like a restaurant template, and you might tell me, I don't really want a template, I really want to start with HTML code, so from zero, from scratch. Well, basically the main goal guys that we have site Google is for having some kind of easier tools to help us build a website in case you built like your website the whole website with HTML or you want to build your own website with HTML you can just open a txt file and just type writing it over here don't like don't even bother yourself by going to site.google but for those who want to just add kind of like sections using html code for example let's say that here we have this menu over here and it doesn't have all the features that we want but look, we know HTML, we can actually add some code by our own. So what should we do in this point? Well, we have this feature that's called embed code. Here, you can simply type whatever code you have in mind. So you can paste the HTML code from the site you want to imp. So here, for example, anything that you have in mind, you can literally write it. For me, I'm so bad with the HTML code, so I'd rather use a tool to help me create some kind of random HTML codes for me. So let me just add some sections over here so I clear this out. And I might remove this as well, just so we can have a bigger image of the website. Okay, here we go. So this is the, the section where I'm going to add the embed code. So simply what I'm going to do is go into the chat GPT and here just give me uh, a simple HTML code to add to my website. Okay, here it goes. All right, maybe this one will help. So let's try this out. I don't know where to copy it exactly. Next. Okay, this is how it looks like. Insert. And this is our HTML code. We have successfully added it to the site.google.com using HTML code. So I have used ChatGPT to do that. You can even, for example, let's ask it to write as a table. Uh, okay, now make me a table. All right, so let's do this. Let's wait for it until it is done. And let's copy this like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. Embed code here, paste the code, then click on next. All right, insert. And here it is. Now we have the product, we have the price. And of course, it will not be that good looking since we need to add the CSS code as well, which is in this case, not possible. You can't really add the CSS code in here using um, this embed code here because you need two files but I don't know if there's possibility to merge them in one HTML code but CSS as I know from my knowledge is a separate file so we need to have HTML code and the CSS code as well on a separate direction so now for those we can't really use them in here which is simply for us the goal is to use HTML alone which is here it goes um, you can change the color, you can actually change the color using HTML code. Um, can you, for example, uh, uh, can you give me a colored word? So here it goes. Here we are. And now let's copy this. So in case you like, like to add some design or something like that, here it goes. So here we have, this is a colored word, which is in blue. So colored is actually written in blue and that can add some kind of design in case you were looking to add some colors in your text, etc. You can do that using HTML without the need of CSS. But in case you want to go even more further with the looks, etc., you will be 
uh, attacked by a dead end or stopped by a dead end since you can't really do that but yeah the actual sites uh, of Google actually gives you so many things that will uh, help you so they can prevent you from actually using the HTML code so here you can get forms, add them here, you can have charts you can use all kind of Google extensions from uh, sheets, slides, docs, map, calendar you can even drag YouTube videos, placeholder, add social links, spacer, divider, buttons, image carousel, uh, table of contents, uh, C collapsible group so all of these things you can literally add by your own uh, without the need of any html code but yeah as i said this is a way of adding the html code to your website without having any problem doing that and now for example let's try to make a menu in a blank page so let's open a blank page and here make me a page menu so sorry guys here we go the this is like the HTML code. I can copy it simply like that. And I can just drag it here and let's, oh, sorry. Uh, embed codes, paste, next. And here we go. We have actually a menu now that we can uh, click on it, I guess. So let, let me try to actually try to click on it. Just let me try to publish this. All right, manage. And I really want to try to click on these buttons. Are those actually real buttons? They are actually real buttons, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, they will not take me to a real page as long as I don't really have it in here. So I have to create page for each of these words. So I have to click here, add page of about, add page of services, add page of etc. So now let's try to publish this and let's see if it's gonna work about um here we go so supposedly now it must work about uh let's see the properties about advanced uh custom path so what is the path that we have here so we have about ashref uh all right so i have no clue about this since it is <laughs> HTML. i have literally no clue so this is like using my basic knowledge with you guys about adding like the html code which is what we did basically here so let me just refresh once more and try if it's gonna work uh here we go here we go contact it, yeah it will not work unfortunately but yeah overall this is how you can add an html code inside of your website so thank you guys a lot for watching this video till this moment if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions one by one and in case you'd like to have more depth uh, or deeper information about the HTML code and the sites on google i will make sure to make my research and make a whole bunch of new videos about that so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial